Hey, what's going on? This is TNS Time and Space with another episode of W. Hollis Boxing. Let's get into it. By the way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Okay, the first thing you notice about this fight is that George Cambosis did well throwing punches in bunches because Devin Haney is tough to catch with a single shot, especially a big shot. And also, people say that Haney only threw jabs, but that's because of Cambosis. That's credit to him. And as you can see, he is a good counterpuncher. That's how he was so successful against Teofimo Lopez, which is why Haney chose to fight smart, you know, behind the jab. You always want to fight, and you always want to keep the fight on your terms. So another thing I noticed was that Cambosis did well to the body, which is why Haney had to fight his fight. You know, it's not always just about entertaining. He was overseas. He was in enemy territory, which means that he essentially had to darn near fight a perfect fight. So it's easy to say, too, that Cambosis needed to rush in and apply pressure, but he was catching sharp punches. So this is what happens when you forget about the body. As you can see, Haney is elusive. That was a bad idea. And Haney did get caught a few times. You know, he took some shots. Everyone was saying that he didn't have a chin. He had a glass jaw. But if you notice, he kept his composure. He was able to stay behind the jab and he didn't let the moment overtake him. Look at this beautiful feint. Love the way he mixed it up. You definitely want to mix it up to keep your opponent guessing. So Cambosis wanted to be a Spartan warrior. But even when Cambosis landed shots, they were single shots. And Haney being the sharper, quicker fighter, that was to his advantage. So also Cambosis is no slouch. So as you saw against Teofimo Lopez, he's able to counter. So he was able to use some timing, but Haney didn't really give him all of the opportunities that he wanted. So this was particularly important because Cambosis was looking to turn the tide. You'll see he lands a big body shot. So he's starting to gain momentum, but Haney gave it right back to him. You know, people assume that if you're a sharp boxer, that you're a cutie and you can't mix it up. So Haney, you know, he used his right hand selectively. You know, he played to its strengths. I know a lot of people want to see an Arturo Gotti, Mickey Ward type of fight, but Haney didn't run. He was right there in the pocket. He was able to control distance, which is what any fighter should want to do, especially when you're worried that the decision might not go your way. So there you go. You see him switching levels, you know, up top, then down to the middle. You know, going to the body. Now, Cambosis did catch a second win. As you can see, he's applying pressure. He was not there to give up. He's in front of however many thousand people. And he was able to briefly push Haney out of his comfort zone. And this is beautiful. This is what you have to do for any future Haney opponent. You can't just give him one shot to worry about. So you see he was able to escape the overhand right, but that led him right into the body shot. And that gave Cambosis hope. That gave him energy. So like a champion, though, Haney responded. He was big. This is big time right here because it's easy for the momentum to shift. But he made sure to, you know, give Cambosis something to worry about and to let him know, he being Haney, that this was going to be his night. Beautiful uppercut. So many people say that Haney just jabs, but he has a lot of dimensions and he became emboldened. But Cambosis then gave him a reminder, you know, when you attack George Cambosis, that's when he's dangerous. And you see he ate that shot, but his chin stood up to it. You know, all of the critics would have said that Haney would have been knocked out with that shot, but he was able to mix it up. But it's just foolish to give your opponent an opportunity to win or a greater opportunity to win just because of entertainment or just because of critics. As you can see, Haney is tough to pin down. Even when Cambosis held him by one arm, he wasn't able to land clean. So that's a credit to Devin Haney. And again, he's a nightmare when he's in his rhythm, when he's in his bag. It's going to take a violent, high energy type of fighter to defeat Devin Haney or at least make it difficult for him. And this right hand was just to punctuate the night. And then in the last desperation attempt, you'll see uh, Cambosis swing and miss wildly. But anyway, this has been another episode of W. Hollis Boxing. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all take it easy. <laughs>